Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. Always a pleasure having you guys here today. Last week we learned how to paint a foggy forest scene. If you want to learn how to do that, please check out the link right here. This week we'll focus on painting a camping scene. And I have this idea, cool idea where I want to paint a starry night sky and a tent. Maybe have it reflect on, onto the water and some mountains in the back. Shouldn't be difficult, should be super fun. And I'm excited to do it. Thank you to my patrons who helped me vote on a topic. If you want to give a vote on what I should teach next, check out the link right here. All right, let's go over the materials needed for today. For brushes, we need this blending brush set. Some of these Artist Loft brushes. Any half an inch flat brush will do. And then also, this is a number four flat brush, and I'll show you what we're gonna do with this. We're gonna be doing uh, flicking stars onto our sky, and this works really good. Number four flat brush. And you know, if you don't have a flat number four brush, that's okay, you can use a, any flat brush you, you got. I just like to use a smaller one because it gives me a smaller drops into my canvas, small, uh, smaller stars. And I'll show you how to do that. And then finally, we need a double round detail brush for the details. For paints, we need titanium white, carbon black, cadmium yellow medium, naphtha red light, and I ran out of ultramarine blue, so I have this thalo blue green shade I'm gonna use today. And I'm gonna mix it with this purple. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I'm sorry for my pronunciation, but this purple right here. So I'm going to mix those and uh, use and have fun with it, see what the colors I can create in, into my sky. I'm just going to call this one Diox Purple. And uh, these are heavy golden acrylics. They are a thicker paint. That's what heavy stands for. When it's heavy golden acrylics, that means it's a thicker paint. Um, of course, we need a palette. We need a palette knife to mix our colors. We need any kind of water jar, uh, jar of water. And we need some paper towels to dry up our brushes. And I have a hair blow dryer to dry my first coats right here. You can, uh, you don't have to have this if you don't want, but I, I like to have my layers to be dry before I add more. Um, and then I also have this cap from my varnish I took out from the varnish bottle. I took this cap out and I add white and water in here and I'll show you how to do that to create some stars. Um, so any, any, of, uh, any cup will do, any small cup uh, will do, but this is what I'm using. And I think that will be it for today. Okay guys, let's get to it. I am using a 16 by 20 inch canvas. It's already pre-gessoed. I bought it from the store as it is. You can use any size canvas you have. And uh, also it, the amount of paint you put on your palette depends on the size of canvas you're, you have. So if yours is a little bigger, just keep in mind to add a little more. Or if it's smaller, add a little less. Okay, so what we're gonna do is draw a reflection. So we're gonna have our horizon be around right there. And then we're gonna draw the sky and the reflection here. And what I got here, this is my palette. And I've got titanium white and a little bit of yellow. And this is my thumb, you can see, um, you know, amount of paint I'm using. I'm using, uh, you know, more titanium white, obviously a touch, not that much of, of yellow. And then here I have pretty much the same amount of titanium white and a little more yellow and a touch of red, okay? And then less titanium white, a touch of yellow, kind of the same amount as we did uh, here, and a little more red here. And then here I've got the thalo blue green shade and then a little bit more of the titanium white. And then here I've got titanium white and the diox purple. 
just a touch. And then more Diox purple and less titanium white. And we're gonna mix these colors and see what uh, shades it gives us and then we can add white or whatever color we need to. Um, but let's mix our first shade. This will be our lightest color. there and then next should give us a uh, orangey color Right about there. And then our third color should be more pink, pinkish, leaning towards pink. Right there. And then our Next color here, the phthalo blue and white. Should be pretty bright. Right there. But not too bright. We're gonna use this as some of the, you know, add it as a shade in our sky. And our next color is this purple and white. They don't have to look exactly like mine, these shades. Yours could be a little darker or lighter. That's fine, okay? Um, okay, and then our final color should be the darkest and we you know I might add another layer uh, shade of color maybe a little more purple um, into my sky but for now I think I will do that I'll add a little more purple here and here right there See, just a touch. I want my sky to be a little darker, so that's why I'm adding it. Adding a little bit of more purple to make it darker. Now, I didn't clean my palette knife. You can if you want to, but you know, these colors are nice on the palette, but once you start mixing and blending color, it's all going to turn out a bit different, the shading of your um, sky, uh, because you mix them. So all this is going to be mixed into the sky, and we'll see what happens, because every time I have shades that I like, and I put it on the canvas, sometimes it uh, gives me a different shade once it dries, so I don't focus too much on trying to mix the perfect shade in my palette. All right guys, so these are our shades. Let's go ahead and cover the canvas. We're gonna grab our fluffy brush, dab it in our water jar halfway. Okay, squeeze it out. And it's pretty wet. Right there. Don't squeeze it too hard. We still want it to be wet and runny. So um, as you could see, I'm dabbing it in my palette. You could see water. Right there, that's how we want it. So we're gonna grab our first shade, right here, our brightest, and remember, our horizon line is gonna be right here. So I'm gonna have it right here. So I'm gonna dab my brush in the water, and every time I move my brush, I, I uh, grab more paint and I dab it lightly like this in the water. So it can run smoothly on the canvas, okay? Just lightly. 
So I dabbed it in the water, grabbed more paint, and just spread it everywhere. Okay, spread it everywhere, cover the canvas. And leave some, don't use all of it. You can make it a little round like this. And here as well. So, like this. Now, dabbing my brush in the water, grabbing our second shade, this orange color, and right at top, right at the top, bottom here. It's going to be a reflection. So just grab the orange and put it on the top like this. Doesn't have to be perfect. Don't focus on trying to blend it yet. We're going to do that next but first we're going to lay down the cover or the lay down the paint on the canvas and cover our canvas first so dabbing more water and if i have some paint left that's okay grab my red this pink color next and just put it right here underneath mix it in with your orange here and same thing here in the bottom. Just cover it. Doesn't have to be perfect yet. Okay. And then next we will Go ahead and add, we're not gonna grab this blue yet, save that shade for later, but we're gonna grab this purple, this next color right here. And the purple first. So dabbing my brush in the water and grabbing most of the paint and just spreading it. And our final color, this darkest purple right here, put it on top. that and then right here on the bottom curve it a little all right there you go we covered our canvas now we can start to blend now I'm gonna grab clean my brush out dry it out with a paper towel and you know dry it out like this after you clean the brush out um, and uh, so it's make it a little damp after you dried it and got most of the paint out and so now we're going to use the same brush and start from the bottom and we're going to lightly press and swirl it lightly don't press too hard okay so I zoomed in for you guys to see closer what I'm doing so I'm lightly pressing and pulling upwards. Okay. 
And I do this a few times. So the first layer, when you do this, you just blend in as best as you can. Not, don't focus too much on trying to get it perfect the first time because we're gonna do that a few times. So once you do that a few times, it blends in nicely. dabbing it and pulling the paint upwards. Now before I go up further, I, uh, when I work on reflections, I uh, f you know, work blending this red here and the, you know, this red here on the bottom here. Um, and then I blend a little bit and then I go back and blend a little here. My brush is a little damp, so it's running smoother. So now that I've got my first layer of blending done, I will go ahead and clean my brush and do the same process going downwards. So I cleaned my brush and I'm gonna swirl it onto the paper towel. And it's damp. And now we're gonna go and work from top. You know, some of these areas, they're pretty dark, so you don't uh, already blend in well, so I don't touch them that much. And I'm gonna carry some of this purple down. Carry that dark down. I want my sky to be dark. And this part, I, um, since I'm carrying the paint down, I'm pressing a little harder. Pressing harder. And you see the corners here. Um, I'm going around making a, almost like a circle, circular shape. About there. Doesn't have to be perfect, you could see. You could see I'm messing around, just blending these darker shades. And then I just go back and forth lightly. I'm gonna dab my brush into the water so that it will, uh, just a little bit. And carry some more paint so that it won't dry. I'm carrying this darker paint down. There. Now, I'm gonna clean my brush and do the same process going upwards. So, I clean my brush, it's damp. And now I'm gonna start from the bottom and since my brush is damp, 
it blends in those colors nicely. Lightly press light. And if you have, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna add some, you know, some of, some of these will naturally create beautiful clouds, uh, light clouds. So that's why you don't have to try to get it perfectly blended, everything nicely, okay? Lightly pressing, not pressing hard at all. And to clean out my brush again and clean out some of this area. Since my brush is damp, I'm not even adding any paint to my brush, but lightly pressing and the paint isn't dry yet. So it still blends in nicely. I'm gonna leave some of these area, areas the way they are because they look like um, reflections of clouds and things like that. So And there you have it. There you go. Our first coat is done. So now I'm gonna dry it out real quick. All right, so now our first layer is dry. We can go ahead and add more layers. And what I got here is, you see I have some uh, leftover yellow and orange. And uh, I added a little bit of white and this blue. We didn't use this blue yet. We're gonna use a little bit of it right now. But first, I'm gonna draw a little galaxy here. And since our horizon line is right about here, I'm gonna start right here and kind of curve it and try to reflect that. And I got this number two fluffy brush. I'm gonna dab it in the water halfway, squeeze it out, and start off by adding this uh, yellow and white shade left over that we have here. And if you don't, ha if you used all of it, don't worry. You can just add white and a little bit of yellow to get this color. It's just a lighter yellow um, so that you won't be using it straight out of the tube. And we're going to draw it right in here. And I'm going to just draw randomly. Um, just dab it in here. And then since our reflection is here, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, guys? So this part, just remember that, um, you know, reflections, don't, you don't need to worry about having it exactly like it. Just you know, eyeball it, and, um, and then I'm gonna slowly go up. First, I'm gonna draw my shapes um, here. It's a little rough, but that's okay. And then pick it up here. And then keep going up. Maybe go up like this, okay? Like this, maybe this 
side could be a little bigger here. And here you just eyeball it out and space it out and carry it out like this. Doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Right there. Just like that. And then we're gonna continue by adding this blue, okay? Grab some of this blue. No need to clean your palette. Just dab your brush in the water lightly. Just a tip, okay? And then grab a little bit of this blue that we have here and add it right in here. I want this to be pretty bright, okay? So that's probably in here. I'm randomly dabbing it and it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? And then maybe have some in here. Okay, just this blue. And then I'm gonna grab some of this pink left over, dab it in the water. And if you don't have this, it's just a little bit of yellow, red, and white. So it doesn't have to be perfect. As you could see, I, I didn't even clean my brush and I'm used and it gave me a different shade. So I'm not worried about that right now. Just add it in right in here. You see how it's, you could see a lot of uh, dr like uh, roughness. That's because my brush is drying out. So I dab it in the water and you could see now it's a little more wet blends in nicely. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is grab my fluffy brush and just blend everything in. Grab a little bit of this blue just a little bit and it's damp, right? It's damp. And so what I'm doing is I'm lightly blending everything in, okay? Carrying it outwards like this. Because it's damp, it's not, uh, you know, it carries some of the paint out and I'm gonna grab a little bit more water, just a little bit. I don't want it too wet. If it's too wet, dry it out with a paper towel. You just want a little bit of it, okay? And then carry, blend it in, okay, blend it in. Now I'm gonna grab my number two brush and add a little bit of more. Let's grab this yellow, a little more of this yellow and add it. And since our um, you know our background is still wet, it nicely blends in. But I'm dabbing it and lightly putting color, not everywhere, you don't want too much. You don't want it to be perfect. Also, you just want it to be a little, maybe go off side here a little bit and then add, grab some white. This is where it gets brighter um, and then add white here. 
carrying randomly upwards like this. And I just eyeball it, doesn't have to be exactly like it. All right, so now just lightly dab it and carry it out. I'm gonna grab my bigger fluffy brush, squeeze it out and do the same thing so that it's not fully dry yet. I'm lightly pressing and I'm gonna leave some of this roughness. I want some of this roughness to be here, okay? Just lightly dab it like this. You know, blend in just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. Same thing here. Okay, and then I want to add a little bit more of the blue color, okay? I'm gonna add just a little more and I'm gonna just take this blue and I will add it right in here. I'm gonna just add a few random shapes here. Maybe bring it up all the way to the top here. Just water and this blue, okay? And I will try to get this reflected, but it won't be exactly. Just randomly adding this blue shade. As you could see, I have no plan where this is going. And now let's grab some white, just white, and add some right here in the bottom, randomly. And I'm working, you know, a little wet just water and white, just on the bottom here. Maybe go up a little bit, and but don't go all the way up. And just fade that out. Do the same thing here on the bottom. Add it right here on the bottom and carry it up randomly. Right, and then I'm gonna blend those in. Squeeze out my fluffy brush. You know, have it a little damp and just softly press and carry the paint upwards. Right there. Do the same thing here in the bottom. then so now I'm gonna grab my artist soft brush this is a number two and then dab it in the water and I just grab some red straight out of the tube and I'm gonna work transparent just red dab it in the water and mixing it with water it makes it look pinkish so um, just a little bit of red in my brush and I'm gonna add some red right underneath some of these um, shapes here that we created. Maybe add inside a few, maybe, you know, it going out. 
and I'm adding it on the bottom lightly. Just red. We want to make our um, sky colorful. So now add some red in here. And you can use a finger to kind of blend everything in. Add some red in here. Eyeball it, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just eyeball it. All right. And some in here as well. Dab it in the water. So now I'm gonna just play around, have fun, add a little bit of more blue on this side. Because I like color. So I'm just randomly adding where I want some of these to stand out. Because once we add our stars, it'll uh, start to come out, um, start to pop out a lot more. So I added just a little bit of white and water using the my number two brush, having fun with this. I'm gonna actually add some of this orange. Uh, it's a little too dark. Let's add this brighter yellow. Add a few in here. Maybe add some white. Add it. Use your finger. That's good enough. You could see it's not perfect, but it is something we're getting somewhere, right? I want to make this side a little more darker. So I'm going to grab some of this red here and let's add some dark ones here. Just red and randomly add it. And then here you can grab some of this purple and add some darker purple alongside some of these. Okay. Not everywhere though. 
just on the bottom of some of these. Maybe even bring it down here a bit. Mix it in with the red. And I'm gonna grab my fluffy brush and blend everything in nicely and then we can start adding our stars. And then we could always touch it up a little later. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna dry my fluffy brush so that it won't drift like this. So I'm gonna start from the bottom and just lightly blend everything in. Mix everything in. And there you have it. And now what we're gonna do is grab our little jar right here, squeeze in about, you know, about this much of titanium white into your jar and add a touch of water, just a few drops, maybe five drops of water or a tablespoon. All right, so right here, I don't know if you could see it, but I have like a tablespoon. I'm gonna mix it in, grab just the random brush and mix that in until it's liquid. So here we go. I mixed it and I don't know if you could see, um, but it's, you know, it's watery, but it's not like super watery, okay? It's dripping slowly as you could see. That's what we want, okay? And now once we have that mixed, we're gonna grab our number four flat brush and we're gonna what we're gonna do is, what I like to do, is dab it halfway, don't dab it all the way, halfway in, about this much, okay, halfway, and then, um, once you dab it halfway, you just go about five inches away from the canvas, and don't tilt it like this, do not, because the paint drops down to the brush, so kind of tilt it towards, like this, and then from here, you just sprinkle it, this way like this so I'm lightly touching about five uh, five inches away from the canvas and I'm lightly pressing um, you know sprinkling the white onto my canvas and that's how I create my stars and of course you don't want to add too much big blobs here on the bottom because that's where the stars are fading out um, you want the bigger stars here but don't worry about that. First, just lightly, you know, press and randomly add them everywhere. Okay. So grabbing some more paint halfway and lightly pressing it. And actually, um, it's easier to lay the canvas flat and do this, but um, this works too. Whichever is more comfortable for you. So I'm just... And if you have too much of the paint here, clean it out. And what I like to do is I just clean it out um, like this and then dab it halfway again, lightly, and continue on because once it starts to pile up, it just makes it big blobs and you don't want that. You want little stars.
end here, once you covered everything, oh, let me cover everything really quick. Um, go up here on the bottom and add a little bit. Don't add too much here. Just a little bit. I think the bottom is good enough. We don't want too much stars here on the bottom. But we do want more here where the where this uh, the galaxy right here. We want to add a little bit more in here, okay? So I come close to it and I just press. Add a little more inside. So in here, uh, I'm gonna add a little more. All right, so once you have added as much stars as you want, you can go back and just with t titanium white and this number two brush right here, Artist Loft brush, I'm gonna go ahead and add a few more lighter areas just with water and white and just go over some of these, okay? Um, use a finger, make some of them a little bit lighter. Um, you can flake it out. And you can do the same thing with the blue. Make it a little bigger if you want. As much, you can add as much color as you want, okay? This orange I want it to pop out a little more so this leftover orange that we have here 
it's really easy. You, you can just add a little bit of red, yellow, and white if you ran out of this orange. But it doesn't have to be a perfect orange. I mean, just whatever you have left on your palette. Just add a few more color highlights and we'll be good to go. And then now, what I like to do is with the detail brush, I am going to add a few more uh, stars, so bigger stars. So I'm gonna add a few more, maybe one here, one here, just the bigger ones. Maybe some here, one up here. Okay, and then some in here. Just a, a few bigger ones out there. Not at the bottom, just um, on top right here. Go over and add a few more bigger ones. Once you added as much stars as you want, you can go ahead and grab your big artist loft brush and grab purple straight out of the tube. Just a little bit of purple right here, straight out of the tube. And my brush is damp, so I just squeeze the water out and I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this purple onto my brush. You can see it's still wet. Just a little bit, not too much. And then I'm gonna add a few, cover a few of these stars with purple on top here. Just a few, go over a few of them. Bring that purple color down, okay? We want that purple to go down all the way here and do the same thing here on the bottom and that purple just the purple and water carry it up like this that'll dim out some of the stars in the sky because right now it's too it stands out too much right and we don't want we don't want it to be just white little stars on top we want to have some stars be brighter than others, and that's how you create it, is just, you add the stars, then you go over it transparently with water, and purple. And we should be good to go on to our land and tent. Just add a little bit here. Just water and purple, guys. There you go. Okay, so we, if we want, we can come back to this guy later, but let's continue. And um, so what I got here is black and a little bit of white. I want to mix that. That will be one of our shades. So it's still going to be dark, very dark. Dark, dark gray. And then I have a little bit of black here and you see how I left a lot. I, I could just add more white, but since I have this leftover blue, I'm going to grab some of this and mix it in with my black. It's going to be gray anyway, so you could have just, uh, if you don't have this, you could just uh, add white to your black and call it good. But we want to make it a lighter gray, so I'm going to probably grab some more. Right there. And I'm going to make one more shade and e make it a little bit even lighter. So a little bit so I'm gonna grab a little bit of this gray with white and then carry some of this blue in here left over 
right there. That will be our shades for the mountains. Okay, so now we're gonna grab our half an inch flat brush, dab it in the water, and first we're gonna draw our shapes of the mountain. Let's go ahead and use this gray. And create our shapes of the mountain. I'm gonna start from the top here, and let's just create a shape going down. And what you can do is, to get the reflection, I just kind of eyeball it. And before I continue drawing any more, I just, you can flip the canvas over or just eyeball it. And then maybe a taller one here. So then I just eyeball it like this. And then it goes down and then maybe there's a little one here and then um, you don't want to go too far because then you forget how you did, you know, did that. So just maybe make this one actually be the tallest. Bring it down like this. Okay. Just draw our shapes first. And then here you can just slowly bring it down. Right about there. Okay. And then we're gonna create a little hill here. here, a little mountain here. We're just drawing our shapes first. Maybe make this like this. They don't have to be perfect. Just lay them down first. And then maybe bring it a little bit higher. Just eyeball it. want this to go up down and then here I want it to go very much like a little mountain going like this so I'm just gonna try to copy that And then this one goes all the way out like this. All right. And this one goes all the way out like this. There you go. And now, you know, you can use your black because this gets a little darker. I'm using just black right here and adding it here on the bottom. And now I'm gonna cover everything with this lighter color right here and just add it randomly. Randomly cover your canvas first with this lighter color. And maybe skip a few. The reason why I'm trying to balance it out and skip it because I'm gonna add more colors in between. But usually that's how I do it. I just uh, dry it out real quick. 
sketch it out and then I go back and add more detail later. This side could be, could have a few on top right here. And then grab our gray and then maybe add it, cover some in here. Since the light is here, I'm hitting this side. I'm gonna make this side brighter on the right and then here on the left side, okay? And then you can cover this, most of this. So keep working with your gray. Just covering my Maybe add a little bit of that lighter color on this side right here. And I'm working fast, don't, th don't overthink this part. Just add the colors, you know, and create shapes because this is, this is just your first layering. So then you go back and add more details layer, later to it. And, you know, we just want to cover our mountain. So I'm going to grab my lightest color here. Just maybe cover this and then grab the gray. And now get the darkest, your black color right here. You know, cover it up everywhere. Like this. And then in here, do the same thing. On the bottom, just cover it with black. And this is where the horizon will be. So now that we added our colors randomly, I'm gonna grab my number two fluffy brush and squeeze it out and then just blend everything in because this is just our base, okay? Just our base. And lightly press and blend and dab it, almost just, you know, dab it and make sure your brush is a little damp, a little damp so that you can blend in softer go. Now I'm going to grab a little bit of white and this, just this, whatever this color is, this le leftover lightest color, just make it a little bit lighter. I want to add the snow in my mountains. So I'm going to grab my flat artist slot brush, uh, half an inch, or, you know, a flat brush will work also. Um, but just grab that, I dabbed it in the water. And I'm just gonna add a few snow, um, more detail onto my mountains. Okay, just on one side right here. 
you don't have to copy exactly. I mean, on the bottom here, on the, you know, make sure it's, you know, you have somewhat similar um, lighting, but it doesn't have to be exactly similar because on the bottom it's pretty, it's gonna be dark, okay? So just add this lighter color wherever you want your snow to be. And then as you go out further here, it might, you know, fade out. Maybe you won't have as much visibility of snow. little ones up here far away you can add some of these And then you can add some here on the bottom, some of the snow here on the ground. Maybe here, some snow. I'm gonna cover some of this snow actually with the darker. I don't wanna add too much. Just add a few, so just cover it so it could be lightly showing maybe leave that one as it is there you go and then some of the tips can be a little lighter They don't know, all have to be dark.
All right, so now with a detailed brush and some white paint, just work by, I dab my brush in the water, I'm grabbing some white, and I will create some details into my mountains here. Some snow. This is where you can spend a lot of time um, adding as much details as you want into your mountains. Maybe add some here. Lightly. Just randomly add them as much as you want. We're gonna move on and add a little tent here. And so what I got here is white and yellow, and just white, and then uh, yellow and a little bit of red. So we're just gonna mix this yellow and white first. Right there. And then we're gonna mix this yellow and red it's gonna give us an orange orange color right here there you go so now we're gonna grab our half an inch brush and we're gonna grab our orange first and then we're gonna draw a tent you can have it as big as you want and I think I'm gonna add it right in here probably how about right in here? So let's go ahead and add it right in here. Like this. Okay. That's where all our tent will be. And then you can reflect that onto your water. Okay, reflect it, just eyeball it. Right about there. Okay, and then here, we're just gonna continue adding this orange, probably up to here, and then like this and then more orange on this side. And now grab our yellow, this color right here, our bright color. Just gonna add it right in here. All right. bit there and now this is where we're gonna grab our number two brush and blend everything in number two fluffy brush and dry it out real quick so it could be a little damp and then I'm just gonna dab it lightly and lightly blend everything in around Like this, just around the tent, like that. Maybe you can go off a little bit because the light is shining uh, onto the ground. Just around, you can use your finger, um, but just blend it in. Don't worry about making it perfect. Okay, and now we're gonna grab gonna grab our black and the detail brush so just this black that I have left over here 
so water and our detail brush and then I'm gonna draw out some of these uh, pulls on here just draw it out maybe there's one that's lightly showing up like this and there's something going on here attachments and then one that's going up here right there I try to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see zoomed in so I'm just drawing black and I'm outlining and I'm gonna draw a line that is going right in here And this is where the entrance to the tent will be. Just eyeball it. Just water and black for now. As you could see, I'm not making it perfect. I'm just adding my shapes. That's what you have to do sometimes, is add in your shapes and then go over it in detail later. So I wanna make this a little bit more brighter, so I'm gonna grab white Clean up my brush and just pure white and then add white in here. Just white. Maybe have some white going in like this in here. And then I have some red, so I'm gonna clean my brush. And then I got some red here, so I'm gonna work transparent, just red and water. Just red and water. And then I'm gonna add it on this side. Here, add some red in the background right here of this tent. There you go. All right, so now I'm going to grab more of the yellow right here that we have and add it a little bit brighter here with just yellow. I'm gonna dab my brush in the water so it can run smoother. And just blend it in lightly. Just like that. I'm gonna add a little more white in here. Cover this up so it will be a little brighter in here. Just 
just white. There you go. Okay, and now I'm gonna dry it out real quick. All right, so now I'm gonna grab my detail brush, clean it out, grab this yellow that we mixed here and lightly with water, lightly go over and add a few more details around your tent. Just on the top, maybe add some lightly in here and kind of fade it out. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is grab our artist loft brush on a half an inch, and we're gonna make a little bit of land here. So I just got this black here, and just this black and water, and I'm gonna draw a little land here. So I'm gonna cover this up here a little bit, cover some of this And just with black, we're gonna add a bit of land right in here. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just carry it out. You know, and then here, I'm gonna clean my brush out. Here, I'm gonna actually grab Clean my brush and then grab a little bit of orange. It still has some black in it, that's okay. But I would just, I wanna make this a little bit dimmer. Like this, that's good enough. Just a little bit, you see how transparent I did that? Just transparent on both sides, like this. So it won't be as perfect as our um, And then here, I want to add a little more red and orange onto the ground because the light is hitting the ground. So I'm just gonna grab some orange and hit the ground here. Maybe draw some grass or something. Right along here. Same thing here. I'm gonna Draw some grass, dab it in, fade it out, you know. Maybe make a little hill going up like this. Okay. And then here on the bottom, you can add, grab a little bit of this yellow and add a, a little light here on the water. Maybe there's some you know icebergs in the water right there and fade it out. There you go. So a few more brighter colors. Just this orange, just by the tent. Add some grass. Go. And you can 
grab black and add some black maybe on top just a touch and I think we're pretty good with the tent and maybe add a few more highlights just with the yellow here just on top on the grass just dab it using your artist loft brush and add some grass effects along the edges here maybe add some on this side as well and fade it out let's add a little cute shooting star right here so let's just use what we have let's just uh, grab some of this yellow here maybe grab some white and use our flat half an inch brush and let's add it right in here Okay, and then we can also try to, so I just look down, I just bring it down, and it's probably going to be right about here. So I'm going to lightly draw it. Okay, I'll call it good with this painting. You know, again, I'll remind you, you can add as much details as you want on any part. You can add a fire here or whatever you want. Have fun with it, see what you can create. I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in and always being supportive of my artwork here. I'm trying my best to uh, teach here on YouTube, so thank you guys. Please be sure to uh, share, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next week's tutorial. Take care and God bless, guys.